Corbetta turned pink for stage three of the Giro Rosa, the 14th event of the UCI Women's World Tour. Every house and shop seemed to be decorated to commemorate the race's arrival in the town for what was to be the longest stage of the 10-day race. Today everybody was like expecting a bunch sprint, so during the race it was pretty easy. But then the last lap was really hectic and there were a lot of crashes again. Uh, but I could stay safe and out of trouble. Today's day started and finished in Piacenza and the riders had to climb two moderate hills halfway along the 109 km stage to finish back where they started. In the end it was the Belgian rider who bagged her second consecutive stage win. At the front of the race the leading group was down to just five. Cassie Nuodoma, Garcia, Norman Passio and the Michelin Scott pair of Annemiek van Vleuten and Amanda Spat all together before the Australian put in a devastating attack with little more than four kilometres to go. That took a solo win in the sunny Alpine village of Verona Alto. Yeah, we're really happy. Um, the whole team rode really well today to set up Anamik and I for that climb. Um, we came and rode it a couple of weeks ago, so we knew it really well. We knew that we had to be patient and wait for our moment, and that's what we did, and I'm really happy to take it for the team. Stage 7 of the Giro Rosa, the individual time trial. The 15 kilometer race was anything but a normal time trial. The entire course heading uphill into the heart of the mountains and up to 2,000 metres above sea level. But it was world time trial champion Annemiek van Vleuten who performed the best. The world champion able to celebrate her second successive UCI Women's World Tour time trial victory. Stage 9 was Montzoncolon Day. The second time the women's person had climbed one of the sport's toughest climbs with World Time Trial Champion Van Vleuten led by nearly a minute coming into the final kilometre of the iconic climb. And though Marwan Passio was able to close the gap, the crowds gathered on the top of the Zonkelon were cheering only for Van Vleuten, as she laboured over the painted tarmac and towards the finishing line. It was epic to, to finish up here on Zonkelon. How often can we finish on a mountain like this? So to win here is very special and I'm happy now to enjoy it because I did not enjoy it on the, on the climb. The final stage of the Giro Rosa started and finished in the far northeast of the country, near the Slovenian border. Van Vleuten's Michelin Scott squad took responsibility for leading the peloton, though none of the breakaway were a threat to the overall lead. Van Vleuten entered the race closing kilometres with a lead approaching 30 seconds, taking the opportunity to sit up and enjoy her victory as she rode across the line alone. Van Vleuten's success is Mitchelton Scott's first Grand Tour success for either their men or women's team in their seven-year history.